Good evening. Whether in sports or in life, building strong friendships along the way is something we all cherish. For two Erie natives, being there for each other during the height of competition is a matter of simply picking up the phone. When it comes to reaching a championship summit, the road to becoming the best never comes easy. For Cathedral Prep graduate and Penn State wrestler Connor Storacci, adversity was met in his first collegiate match. After losing at Indiana, he got a message from his best friend, Ian Malaszewski, 1,300 miles away at the University of Miami. Guys like Ian, he's the inspiration behind a lot of things, you know what I mean? And I'm texting him throughout the season. He's calling me, and like after, after that loss, he was like, dude, like, that don't mean nothing. Like, dude, like, you're way better than him. Like, he's sending me songs, getting me all fired up. I was just, you know, constantly being, you know, a positive voice in his ear. Like, keep working hard, keep your head down, keep chugging, and it's going to pay off in the end, and obviously it did. That constant communication is a two-way street for Storacci and Malaszewski, especially how life changed for Ian following his wrestling injury in high school. It's not just, you know, me talking to him about wrestling or me encouraging him. He'll text me, how are you doing? How are you doing in therapy? You, you know, how are your grades? How, how's your mom doing? You know, because I'm great friends with him and his dad. He's great friends with me and my mom and my dad. So... Now it's deeper than just me looking out for him for the wrestling season. Just before Storacci would go on to win the national championship at 174 pounds, Malaszewski provided one more message of encouragement. After he lost at Big Tens to the opponent from Iowa, you know, I texted him right away. I'm like, 2021 national champ. And he texted me back, 2021 national champ. And just to see it, you know, come to fruition, you know, I was crying, my mom was crying, it just... Could have been a happier moment for him. There's not too many people in life that you'll meet that's that's tougher than that kid, you know what I mean? And he drives me every single day. Like like I said, like when I lost my first match, like it's just a match, you know what I mean? Like it don't mean that much, you know what I mean? Just go out there and, and be the best version of yourself. And I know that's like the best. So I can't even describe everything with me and Ian, you know what I mean? Like it goes, it goes deep, you know what I mean? I love that kid forever.